welcome welcome back to my uh, youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome back and if you are new here you're welcome to subscribe like and share um this video and also click on the notification bell every time i upload a new video so that you can know so that you can be notified today we are working in silhouette studio and i want to show you how i got from um this design here right here to this one if you look at it you can see the difference the difference is uh, the text this one doesn't have the text um the butterflies here are different and i created a like a butterfly gown for her up here you see that and i can show you how to do it in silhouette studio very very easy um the first thing the first thing um you need to pay attention to if you have an image that has a transparent background like this with um with loose parts i call them loose parts because you can um uh, you can remove them easily from the design if you have an image like this you see it has a transparent background um uh, the thing you need to do to um to get it to to be able to uh customize it fast let me take this out really quick yeah to be able to customize this mice it really fast like this one you need to go in edit and in preferences and go here and um import you go to import you need auto you need to select this auto trace when you have auto trace on your uh, uh, auto trace selected okay after you have it selected when you import or open a file with a transparent background it will give you the option to trace it it will not give you the option to trace it it will trace it for you automatically look i can put a stroke around it you see that okay do you see the stroke it's around it because it the system traced it for you automatically and because it traces it for you automatically you will be able to release compound on it you see this right here i can right click and release compound it will take some seconds okay you see i release compound on it you see it looks like a big mess but don't worry you will be able to fix it within no time look and now i'm able to select to select all the text here and delete it and select these um, butterflies and remove them to the side let me remove them to the side really quick Come on now, butterflies. Remove them to the side. Okay. Now I'll go back here and I'll select everything. Because I still want the, the, the dots behind it. And I will right click again. And I will make it compound. Yeah. And then I will take the stroke out. Okay. And now we have her. So, um... If you don't want to do anything else to the design you will have you can use only this to create other things you can create a t-shirt um, design with it put a background to it add text to it your own text whatever you want but I'm going to show you how I went from um, the design that we had before to this one okay these these butterflies are still uh, loose so I will select all and I will if you want actually if you let me see this if i remove it i don't lose lose much so i'm going to delete this i'm going to select all and take the red line out the stroke okay mm, wait a few seconds Let me go back. Take the stroke out right here. Okay, I took it out. And when I remove them, there's some residue left behind. Um, actually, I don't need this one. 
Okay, I'm going to work with this. I'm going to duplicate it really quick and I can enlarge it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start placing my butterflies. I'm going to duplicate it and then you can arrange it just like you want it to be. Like rotate it a little bit. I'm going to add small one. Oh, let me send this to the back right here. Okay, I will be able to add small ones. I need to duplicate the small ones also so that I can pick them freely. Small one, let me put this one here. Mm -hmm. I'll put the one in her face right here. And some more here. You can also rotate it like they're flying somewhere else. Add them here. Okay. You can add more. Oh, we duplicate in this one. This is fairly easy to do as long as you have um, checked. Okay, let me see if I can add one more. I mean, this smaller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one too. Okay, so this is how I did it. And then, let me move this a little bit more here. Rotate it a little bit. Maybe I can duplicate it. No, what have I done? <laughs> duplicate it. Oh no. I need the butterfly. Nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, and then I will select all and group it. And you can wait a little bit for it to um, group. Okay, let me see something. Uh, there's a whole piece here, that means something is there's something there. I will ungroup it again. Group it, yeah. This tiny residue made that the image was bigger than it's supposed to be, yeah. Right here, and I will group it. Okay, it's already grouped. You see that? So, this this how you can, um, you know, change up an image that you already have uh, purchased. <clears throat> Actually, like I showed you, if you have an image with a, a transparent background and they are uh, they are not connected then there are loose pieces on it just like the butterfly where we're flying like loose pieces um, you can do this with it by go to edit one more time preferences import and you have to have this selected auto tree selected um, so thank you so much for watching the videos video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and also do not forget to subscribe uh, like comment share and click on the notification bell so that when I upload another video a video about a silhouette studio sublimation or Inkscape so that you can be notified thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye